right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology again and nice to see you back after so many days i'm making a video finally with all the collaborations and interviews so now today's video is again on remedies <laughs> so today's video is on how to make the remedies work faster yes because many times people tell that oh i'm doing this remedy i'm doing that remedy i'm not seeing the results i'm not getting the benefits is it working is it working right all right so <clears throat> today we will discuss some tips which are general for any placement of your planet in any chart in for any lagna for any moon sign yes so either you are aries or you are a pisces lagna or a moon it doesn't matter all right so you can take this universally and if you have planets in 6th 8th or 12th houses these three houses then i have individually made videos for them solutions to planets in the 6th house solutions to planets in the 8th house and solutions to planets in the 12th house and also because the third house is a mild dustana so i also made videos for solutions to planets in the third house okay so if you have not watched those four videos then please go and watch and now so today's video is on how to make remedies work faster okay and there are different videos so many videos on remedies i have made for remedies for sun remedies for moon and regarding all the other planets i will be making that very soon in the near future all right so if you have not watched those two videos also then please go and watch and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and watch the videos of anuradha ji on anuradha nakshatra <laughs> and i'll be uploading the remaining parts over the weekend all right so stay tuned so now what is the problem there are so many remedies which people do but sometimes we do not see their results so what to do then should we stop doing them well the first thing we need to understand is we don't know how much sin we have performed should i repeat some people are telling that i am not audible so i will shout shout now we don't know how much sin we have performed hindi mein kahu to hame nahi pata humne paap kitna kiya hai am i audible now <laughs> so we don't know how much sin we have performed you can take a horoscope and say oh you have curse of venus you have curse of jupiter you have curse of this you have curse of that that is fine but there is no astrological technique <laughs> there is no astrologer or there is no sutra whichever book whichever text it is to find out exactly how much sin you have performed it is uh, you can know to the extent to which that is very serious yes suppose a planet is very badly smashed in your chart then you can know that it's very bad okay but still you can't say i have performed 10000 kilograms of sin i have performed 20000 kilograms of sin all right so if that is the case we don't know how much sin we have performed so <clears throat> to expect that we do the remedies and from tomorrow morning we start seeing the results well that's not practical see everything takes time if you want to crack a exam like upsc exam in india it's very difficult you need to start studying sincerely doing everything properly only then it will happen take proper optional subjects <laughs> suppose you are going for the gre exam then also it is very difficult yes or gate all these exams are very difficult so if in the material world you don't get quick results then how in the universe do we expect that in the spiritual realm of the gods the demigods and soul we will get overnight remedies it doesn't happen it doesn't work out so somebody if they are telling you that oh just do this and tomorrow morning things will change there are many channels in youtube where these things are going on okay do this and do that then you will get overnight results or may not be overnight but oh within 5 days you will get this within 10 days you will get that let me be honest maybe that has some authority i'm not insulting that astrologer i'm not criticizing that that particular person who is speaking that but let me tell you from my humble experience i have not seen any of them working okay so if you find some remedies that oh today night you do and tomorrow morning things change it doesn't work like that so we need to be patient because we don't know how much sin we have performed so before understanding how to make the remedies work faster we need to understand that it may not work fast sometimes so 
we need to be patient and we need to do it consistently yes so many people i know i'll give them the mantras i'll tell them do this do that but then after some days they're like oh we don't do it why because oh we didn't we, we didn't see the results so do not become result oriented when you do remedies should i repeat don't be result oriented when you do remedies because then you will be the most frustrated person in the planet earth because you don't know when you will see the results suppose you are doing remedies for afflicted venus your venus is in the sixth house or it is afflicted by saturn mars rahu ketu whatever it is and you are going on doing remedies but that doesn't mean that tomorrow your marriage is going to turn i mean if you have a bad marriage suppose your venus is afflicted or your seventh house is a terrible malefic like mars saturn or rahu and then you do remedies and then don't don't think that overnight things will change okay so we need to understand that we are starting the process so whenever we are starting to do remedies whatever remedies they are we have to understand that there is a place in the universe where the count has been started all right so we need to make sure that we do it consistently yes so then the remedies will yield result and it may yield result tomorrow day after tomorrow within 10 years within 100 years or maybe after 100 lifetimes because we don't know how much sin we have performed okay so that's the first thing i would say you don't know how much sin we have performed so don't expect quick results now the next thing is suppose we are doing some remedies and we are doing it in a very detached way whatever happens will happen we will not force things all right anyways you can't force the results so i'm saying if you are doing sincerely if you are doing your part then what are some other things we can do so that the remedies become more efficient yes there are some simple things we can do for example if we are doing remedies for mars we can ensure that oh my god i'm wearing red <laughs> so we can ensure that if we are eating meat then we reduce our intake okay and now here some so strong things i will say so if you don't like to hear strong things like i say in some of my videos so then please walk away from this video okay so now on from here there will be some strong things which you may not like to hear so don't feel bad later on okay don't say that oh this person doesn't speak sweet things i will not speak that because i cannot cheat you it is my duty to tell you the truth even if you like it or you don't all right so suppose you want to do some remedies for mars then all the other remedies are there that is fine but one of the most important thing is to abstain from violence and that starts from your plate yes so if you are planning to do remedies for mars yes 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 i am talking about the mangliks here so many mangliks my god every day i keep getting mails oh i am manglik my daughter is manglik my sister is manglik my brother is manglik what will happen mars is in first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth houses all are manglik <laughs> so apart from the remedies for mars that you do it is very essential that we uh, abstain from violence which means if we are eating meat Oh my god let's go to diets now <laughs> so if we are eating meat then it is very important that we reduce the intake yes because if you are doing remedies for mars and then you are going on eating meat then it's like you are putting good and again you are putting garbage because when you are eating meat you are participating in the violence yes 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 now somebody will write in the comments oh there's no problem in eating meat everything is fine you can do whatever you want well you can write whatever you want but i am talking of the planets here all right so if uh, we are planning to do remedies for mars then it is very important that we reduce or totally give up uh, the uh, indulgence with animal food because nobody likes to be killed whatever you are whoever you are you are a vegan or you are a vegetarian you are a hindu or a muslim i just don't care suppose tomorrow i take your throat and i say oh i will slit it off in the name of goddess durga or in the name of allah or in the name of jesus or because i want to eat you yes you will not like it either you are a religious person or you are a atheistic person i don't care i am simply telling you it doesn't matter whatever it is you cannot go on killing animals yes so if you are eating that then you are taking part in the violence that is not good if Uh, sexually abusing somebody is bad then eating meat is equally terrible it's no less than that in fact that's worse than that you are killing the person okay so nowadays there are so many rules for sexual abuse of women then sexual abuse of children but what about the animals sir nobody talks about the animals yes because every body is only concerned with abuse of humans nobody is concerned with animals and that is the reason you see the 
precarious situation of the society today it is in yes so many animals are getting slaughtered so many wars they are happening so the repercussions will come mother nature will send the results by other means you see there's so much poverty there's so much war so much hatred there's so much crimes all these things are increasing yes so that is something which we can do for mars and then for jupiter we may be chanting mantras we may be fasting whatever we are doing that is fine but it is also important that we get up in the morning properly and do the mantras yes i mean most of the mantras are to be done in the morning so uh, i mean i'm not talking of those mantras which you have to do in the evening but suppose there are some mantras which we have to do in the morning then it's very good that we get up early at four o'clock or five o'clock and do it as the sun is rising yes so that is one very good remedy for jupiter not that you do the mantra at oh, 12 o'clock i get up and two o'clock i do the mantra that that doesn't uh, give much uh, results because although that is still sunrise uh, i mean that's not sunset two o'clock but still it's better if you do mantras in the morning for jupiter or, or any mantra in fact unless that mantra is specifically to be chanted in the night okay then if suppose we are doing some kind of fasting for any other planet then it is good if we try to do it nirjal even without water also if we can so that is another thing which we can do yes so if you can't do then do with water then for uh, for some other planet if you are doing some remedy yes so for example if you are doing remedies for venus then it is very important either you are a boy or a girl it doesn't matter it is very important that you do not go and speak negatively about other women that is not good here yes of course we uh, we do it sometimes even even i have the tendency to do sometimes but let us check that and especially ladies i'm saying i have seen ladies time and again criticizing and speaking badly about other ladies please stop it if you think that you will go on doing remedies on friday or you will give go on giving donations you will chant vin the mantra for venus himakundam nila labham daityanam paramam gurum sarva shastra pravaktaram bhargavam pranamam yaham if you think you will go on doing this mantra and then you will go on bitching about your co-workers yes you go and bitch about your mother-in-law you go and bitch about your daughter-in-law yes saas bahus i have seen oh meri saas ne ye kar diya meri bahu ne to ye kar diya yes uh, and then you go on bitching about your female colleague oh i know how she got the promotion then your venus will never improve it will go down more and more okay so please do not speak negatively especially if your mercury venus is afflicted make sure you do not gossip you do not take part because gossip is considered to be like stool so when you go go to pass stool in the morning in the toilet then you don't preserve it right you just push the flush button and the stool goes away but gossip is like you preserve the stool and you go to everybody and then you keep asking oh i have some stool for you would you like to have it in your breakfast we don't do that right so we should not do that for people so let us abstain from any kind of gossip which is going on in the circles yes let them do whatever they want but you don't take part in that because by that your mercury and venus will be spoiled yes now saturn rahu remedies so many have asked me my god saturn rahu remedies very important that we abstain from things like alcohol and at times sugar also but we sugar we can take but that to in limited quantity yes we can take more of jaggery we can take more of honey but sugar we have to abstain from yes we have to try to reduce it and then alcohol yes 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 late night parties drinking going to pubs going here going there doing this doing that <laughs> so if if you think that you will continue this uh, lifestyle of this animals like drinking and smoking and doing all this nonsense and if you think that morning you will sit and do some mantras and saturn and rahu will improve well <laughs> it is not going to happen let me ensure you none of the remedies will give you effect okay you may say i am speaking uh, badly here i am spreading venom here but those who are intelligent will understand what i am saying okay <laughs> and i know many will not like this video probably but that's my duty to speak the truth so uh, for saturn and rahu it is very important that we abstain from things like alcohol yes 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 and if you have venus and rahu combination it is very important that you stay away from things like pornography or if you have mercury rahu then things which are there in the internet like so many things are there which shows politics and all those things yes 
and things like big boss which which is there in the indian cinema indian tvs i don't know it's still there or it's not there i don't know and either i want to know but those things were there once upon a time so they are they are showing all this garbage nonsense there yes pornography they are showing exploitation of the physical body which never happens in i mean uh, which is way 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 ahead then what happens when a man and women are uniting uh, in reality yes and then people have these fantasies oh my partner will be like this my partner will be like that and then in reality what happens <laughs> all your expectations are baffled you get frustrated yes so that is not how uh, these things work okay so if you are doing remedies for venus and rahu but you are going on uh, watching pornography in the internet or watching things like hot scene bed scene kissing scene intimate scene all those things you are going on watching you are losing your vital fluid from your body yes let me ensure you none of the remedies for venus will work in fact that will become more worse yes so please abstain from that and for pornography i have speci- specifically as i had suggested earlier now i'm again suggesting there's a very beautiful free software called k9 web protection so you can download it and you can tell one of your friend or your senior relative or your father or your mother to set the password so k9 will block all the uh, access to pornography and all explicit adult material anything you search in google youtube it will not give you any result and you can't open it because if you want to open it it will ask the password which you don't know which your mother or your father or your elder brother should know okay so that is one thing and for saturn also it is very important that we stay away from things like alcohol yes late night parties which make you indisciplined saturn is the karaka for discipline saturn does not like all those things that you keep partying till 4 am in the morning yes so Uh, if we are doing remedies for saturn and then suppose we are going on giving charities to poverty stricken people on saturdays and then that night saturday night we are going to clubs and pubs and doing yo yo <laughs> we are investing rahu yes what is alcohol alcohol is rahu basically yes and some people also say that is saturn so if you are going on doing all this then it will not happen so if you want that saturn or rahu or venus rahu then all these things improve then we need to make sure that we do not put ourselves in a situation where we can fall down should i repeat we have to stay away from those people who drag us down to these habits so if you know a person who always smokes who always drinks even if he or she is your best friend i don't care simply throw that person out of your life yes 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 very strong words i am using throw that person go and send him a kick in his face and throw him out of your life that person is not your friend one who drags you into alcohol or pornography or prostitution is not your friend for god's sake <laughs> so many times i get people saying oh my friend is calling me na how can i say no hey you that's not your friend man he's your he's your <laughs> biggest enemy how can your friend say that go and take alcohol that's insane that person simply wants a company that person who is telling you that come and drink alcohol is simply miserable he is unhappy in life and he just wants some company to share his unhappiness don't think he or she is your friend whoever that person is that person can be your childhood friend i have had many childhood friends yes many friends from school whenever i go there like, oh let's eat mutton rogan josh let's eat chicken biryani no i have given up their association i don't know if they are seeing this video but they will come to know what uh, i am saying yes i do not call them i do not message them i don't keep any contact with them because if i do then none of the remedies i am doing will work for my <laughs> karma okay so these are the things and for sun and moon it is very important that we respect our parents yes so if you go on do remedies for other things and then we don't respect our parents then it is not going to happen yes so these are the things which i said that you need to abstain from certain things so that you don't put more garbage into your life so because of that uh, it is very important that you watch the video uh, for solutions to planets in 6th house 8th house and 12th house so it is there you if you go and search you will get it okay so make sure you see those uh, four videos on 6th house 8th house 12th house and the third house all right so by that you can uh, understand very well on how these things are more okay so for mars i said meet and then for jupiter get up early in the morning for saturn uh, for saturn rahu all this addiction pornography prostitution all these things yes and then for venus mercury be respectful with women don't gossip don't 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 gossip please don't do all this please do not spoil your planets okay 
they are already spoiled sufficiently in Kali Yuga. Do you see the problems everywhere? People with exalted Venus getting into relationship troubles, yes. All right, it's been a very long video, very heavy video, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry if I have hurt somebody's sentiments, but uh, that's true. Yes, if somebody is pulling you to drugs or to drinks, that person is not your friend. Remember, the only friend, Lord Krishna says, who is the best friend actually? Yes, Suridam Sarva Bhutanam Gyatva Mam Shanti Muruchati. Lord Krishna says, I am the most well wishing friend of everybody. So, how to make remedies work faster? This secret is very simple. Read the Holy Scriptures, read the scriptures like Gita, the Srimad Bhagavatam, or if you're a Muslim, then the Quran, then Bible, and go and meet holy people in the weekends. Go and meet sages and saints. Go to places like Haridwar. Go to places like Vrindavan. Go to places like Mathura. Go to places like Ayodhya. Go to places like Jerusalem. Go to places like Makkah. <laughs> there is the these are the places where you will find what the true essence of religion is. What God is. What life is. And when you understand that, when you read scriptures, you maintain your association with good people. Then you will realize that remedies can work faster okay so that is it from my side if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below okay until next time wish you good luck with another videos video on remedies okay bye bye see you